you came to the right shop showing you all the ins and outs about bmx parts what they're made out of how they're finished all the little things that nobody really tells you about uh today we're giving you an explainer review on the bullseye retro box cranks they also are called retro 175 box crank arms and spindle so if you've been wanting to find a little bit of info about these well we got you showing you exactly what these are telling you everything about it so that you can make a great buy and uh get these on your bike uh so let's start with the unboxing i'm gonna i'm gonna pull this thing back and show you how they come so yeah these are shipped a little bit different than other cranks and stuff like that so you're gonna get the mighty retro box crank box it comes with a certificate of authenticity uh, uh all labeled for you um these ones we had to open up it comes with a cool little bullseye sticker right there the back looks pretty cool has a the crazy bull uh bullseye over the box it just looks pretty pretty clean has a bunch of specs and stuff like that on the side but opening up these cranks these bad boys are going to come with this foam insert which i think is pretty cool um it's going to come with the bullseye sticker and on the side what it's actually going to come with as well and these don't come in the box because it trashes the box it's going to come with a stainless steel spider bolt so this holds your sprocket or your spider on it's also going to come with uh the traditional bolts right here which um uh, actually let me see this looks like a I think there's actually like a tool to remove the crank so you'll use this bolt instead of the other ones but or maybe even a crank puller that's what this actually looks like a crank puller so that you could put the cranks on and i think that's kind of cool pretty simple um right here they have another two stainless steel bolts and alloy washers so when those bolts go into those washers they'll actually sit flush on your cranks so these come separate also has a little explaining so it'll teach you how to install these cranks so that you can put them on super nice. Uh, let's go to the actual cranks. These are a little bit different. I know they look like profiles or GT cranks or uh, power light cranks, a bunch of other 48 spline cranks. But uh, let's get to the spindle. Check out this spindle. This spindle is a little bit different than other ones. I've seen a lot of 48 spline spindles. And right away, I could tell that it's a little bit longer than most of them. It's actually machined down on the end. Uh, let me pull this back. A lot different than most. Most of them are pretty flat. Uh, this one is actually chamfered quite a bit. So I noticed that on it. Probably helps it slide on, like the crank arm slide on there a lot easier. So I think that's kind of cool. On both sides. And I do notice the spindle is slightly longer than... Uh, a BMX spindle that you would have like American bottom bracket or a mid. Uh, this spindle actually comes in uh, 5.75 inches. So five and three quarters of an inch is what, oh, excuse me, what this spindle comes in. And this thing's heat treated chromoly. Um, let me see, I'm not sure if this thing's hollow, but I don't think this thing is hollow. What do you guys think? We can't see through it, so I don't think it's hollow. But just let's double check. No, nah, it's not hollow, but it is really drilled pretty far down there. So probably reduce a lot of weight, stuff like that. Um, on these cranks, these things come only right-hand drive. Let's see if I could get it. So this is the left-hand drive. I'm going to put this back in here because they're both the same besides the little sprocket bolt. So this is the right-hand side one. What's pretty crazy is that these things are recessed. Uh, looks like they were stamped before they were shaped and, and welded together. These things look like they were folded f uh, three, two times and then welded on the back. Uh, look at on the back side of this thing. I'm going to try to show you. This thing has really nice welds, really small beads. Um, pretty sure they grinded some of them off, smoothed it out to chrome to, before they chromed it. So it looks really nice. These crank arms are really, really light. Um, I could imagine putting these cranks with the tie profile spindle would probably be really, really light and uh, super nice. Look at the crank on the side right here. This is kind of cool. I don't know if you can kind of see it, but the crank arm kind of gets a little bit fatter right there. It wraps around the whole 
actual arm. They grind it off nice and smooth. Coming to the other side, the same thing with the pedal boss. So this is the pedal boss right here. The boss is just a little thing with the threads. Uh, these things are right hand drive only do not come in left hand drive So make sure you put the right side on the right side left side on the left side um, But yeah, that's a total overall look on the front side the rounded edges just look phenomenal uh, these cranks um, From a lot of the cranks I've seen these cranks were put together really really well uh, I really love how these things look uh, if you're wondering what determines the length of cranks is from the center of this uh, hole right here and the center of the pedal hole right here. So that'll determine the length right here, which is 175 millimeters. These things are only available in the 175. Um, I believe maybe 180 too. I, I think they came in 180. I'm not too sure uh, about that, but yeah, these things are relatively light. Um, let's, uh, Let's see how much these things weigh since you guys want to know how much things weigh. I always think it's a good idea to do that. So let's put all these. Shoot, let me see. Okay, it's still zeroed out. I know it's not perfect, but I'm going to try to. Actually, let me turn it sideways. <laughs> shoot. Don't hit those too hard. Yeah, that crumb's really nice. I don't know if it's going to sit in there. Let's move it. Dang. Subscribe to our newsletter if you want a 10% discount if I scratch these bad boys up. Or I could send you a different set that are brand new without no bouncing or tings on it. So these come in at uh, 898 grams. It's relatively light. Um... What other cranks come out similar to these? Um, let me know in the comments. Cranks that are lighter, cranks that are heavier. But uh, yeah, let me put this to the side. And yep, that's it for the explain and review on the Bullseye Retro Crank, box cranks. Um, thanks for watching this. And uh, yeah, thanks for supporting us. See you next time.